it's Sunday, the 17th of July. And we're going to start off with picking orders again. We've gotten three over the night, weekend, however you want to call it. I guess night, because Sunday is still weekends. And yeah, lately I've been pondering about what to do with the space as I'm slowly running out and yeah I gotta think of a way to maximize it so the coming few days slash weeks I'll be thinking about that and <coughs> when I've got some ideas I'll share it in the vlog of course and might even start working on that as yeah this room is getting fuller and fuller and the thing about that is I'm not really sure where to leave it but I am sure I don't want to move this store outside of the apartment for now So it comes down to getting creative and we'll see what we figure out. The order I'm pulling right now is an order which is going to the United States. So again a rest of world order. It's all for small bits and pieces which is really great. It's yeah making me get a better insight of what's it like to ship there and as I've mentioned in the previous vlog I believe I'm in need of a baseline to get started on tweaking the shipping costs I might lower it a bit in the near future but for now I first need to see what the averages are for order picking, I'm also working on something as picking with the MacBook isn't ideal as I constantly need to walk back to it and um, enter the numbers. So I'm thinking about getting an iPad for it. But yeah, then I need to mount it to this card and I'm not really sure how yet. So, uh, two, four, six, seven, ten. Yeah, <coughs> lots of things to think about and work on, which is cool. I've always known that in this store, I needed to be creative with space. As at one point, I will grow out of this space. But before that happens, I really would like to see how far we can go to keep it efficient, but also uh, workable. 25, oh boy. So yeah, oops, ouch, okay, six. Seventeen. Eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-five. Um, I'm <clears throat> not sure how yet, but I know it will mean I have to narrow my focus down a bit more. Might even get rid of the full sets I'm currently having, as um, 
left now. As those take up a lot of space. And yeah, space is an issue here. Maybe in the future I need to place the sets externally as that wouldn't be an issue. I could always ship sets two or three times a week and still um, be able to supply them as I don't think it will be a problem for sets to be shipped a bit later. But yeah. If you guys have any creative ideas, of course, they are welcome. As I can only think of so much. And maybe you guys have great ideas how to make this space more efficient, even. Oops, that's a high one. <coughs> 50, okay. Uh, Got to count 50, so yeah. Order to the United States, all small parts, which is great. Thank you for the order. And I'm going to pick the other two orders first and then get back to you. One of the orders has really small pieces, so busted out the counting scale, as that makes life quite a bit easier. Still, the value for money for this thing is amazing. Definitely recommend it. And that's 50. Easy as that. Orders are all done. Now on to shipping. Uh, the buyer from this order is a viewer from the channel. And they left a message. It's in Dutch, but it says, Still a loyal viewer of the vlogs. Keep it up. Thank you for the order and thank you for supporting the store, of course. It's greatly appreciated. And yeah, on to shipping uh, now. So we've got the first shipment that got lost. So I'll be doing the first official refund of an order. Those things happen. It's a part of business. I've messaged the customer if the pieces would arrive in the future. They are on me. But yeah, it's not that big of an order, so the damage is relatively small. Submit refund, okie dokie, and done. All the packages are done. Still was a bit fighting with the shipment methods on Bricker, but that's mostly due to me, I suppose. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to eat something now, as all orders are done, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Apparently, I'm all out of packaging tape, so gotta run to the store later on. Um, for now, let's open this box and see what set I've bought. I bought four times this fire station. It was a good deal, and in my opinion, it had some cool pieces like those doors, the dog, and yeah, just something different for the store. Those will be parted out or late, yeah, later this week, as we first going to do this one today, but that will be in the evening, I guess, as in the afternoon, I've got some plans and it's already 11 o'clock. Ah, well, um, yeah. So we're going to put those on the part up pile and move on. Packaging tape is all sorted. We can go ahead for some time in the future now. <laughs> um, my parents had a spare iPad lying around. So it's an older model, but for using it with a browser, it's just fine. So we can improve the picking time as I don't have to walk from the car to where the MacBook usually is. So for now it's just for testing purposes if it's what I'm looking for. Um, another thing I need to improve is uh, this morning I was picking two bigger orders and these this tray filled up pretty quickly so I might consider 
another tray, but not really sure yet how I'm going to do that. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated, of course. Um, for now, on the schedule is this set parting out, and then we'll be finished for today. But yeah, let's get this out of the box. Let's see what's in it and start parting it out. Okay, so there's one uh, roll plate piece, a big plate, some stickers and booklets. Booklets will be thrown away as usual and six bags. So yeah, big part out will take some time, but we'll get some cool and unique pieces in it. So yeah, on to parting it out. First batch is done. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've got two few cups. So one of the things I have to do this week is figure out a new way for part outs. As this is getting ridiculous, I've came to back four, still need two more to go so I'm gonna see which I can clear out and yeah go from there but cups is an issue I really need to improve it but first let's put, let's put this away last batch of parts it's a decent uh, big part out took me longer than expected but yeah we've broken into the last row and filling up the wall quite nicely so yeah on to putting these away and I'll get back. All items are put away. Uh, in the meantime, we've gotten three orders. So I'm going to make a start on them now, but it's getting a bit late, so I won't be vlogging it or using the body cam. These pieces weren't in the part out. So probably going to add them manually, but yeah. We'll see how that comes. First, getting uh, pulling some orders. You can't leave a box unattended for one second, as there's always a surprise inside. <laughs> orders are all pulled. One order was for legs, but I already packed it on accident. <laughs> um, the other one is for two Star Wars sets and a Scout Trooper. Which is great, as the sets are uh, getting less and less, so we can, yeah, use the space otherwise. Thanks for all the orders, it's been a great weekend so far. So, yeah, going to pack it and then it's some relaxing time. It's Monday, the 18th of July, and we've got three orders to pull. We had two orders overnight. One of them is already pulled. It was a small one. Now the two bigger ones. It's been a while since I made it so late last night and been all about the Lego, but that's only good. And yeah, judging by the orders, I definitely can sense some shops are closed due to the holiday, I think. And uploading new parts always triggers new sales. So yeah, that's great. Let's pull those orders. Second order all pulled. It's a huge order. And it's the second order of a customer this weekend. As one of the packages, which is over there, is already for the customer. So yeah, I can't thank you enough for the support. It was the customer with the note on the previous order so yeah thank you and the amazing thing is now i can combine the shipping so i'll take the package and just put it in the box with these parts as this will need a bigger box than uh yeah letter size so that's really great saves me some shipping thank you again wow with the last order, I'm having an inventory mismatch. I've got 16 of these and there were 19 listed. So I refunded the buyer for three pieces. Uh, it, it does happen, but yeah, don't know how come, but yeah. 
if you're running a store with so many pieces, it's bound to happen. It goes wrong sometime. Sadly, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> it's Tuesday, the 19th of July. And we've gotten a fairly easy order to pull. All minifigures, again, going to Canada. Got to count them out. But yeah, nice start of the day. It's the third time the customer is buying minifigures. So yeah, amazing. And good for the baseline to the rest of the world countries. Yeah, going to count them out, pack them and get ready for the day job. It's evening and we had a big order to pull. It's all done. Um, tomorrow there will be coming in some bigger ladder boxes. And I expect this order to fit in that. So for now, I'll put the order in here and keep it together so we can test that tomorrow it would save on some shipping so it would be great but yeah gotta wait till tomorrow to get it in as it's evening it won't matter much as if i would ship it right now or tomorrow it will always be there at its earliest on thursday so yeah doesn't matter that much um for tonight i'm not planning any more Lego related stuff, only order pulling. With bigger orders, I'm probably going to pull them less on camera as I've made a mistake again with an order. I probably shipped some pieces with the wrong order last Sunday. So gotta watch out for that. And apparently I still can't do two things at a time. So yeah, I, the customer reached out to me and they said it's no problem it's the regular view viewer from the channel so i'm really grateful for that did give him a five percent discount coupon for his understanding and his repeat business so yeah that's that mistakes happen don't ponder too long on them and just keep going on as yeah you're bound to make some mistakes nobody's perfect so tomorrow on the schedule the lego city fire station and i'm getting in quite a few things so we'll be a bit busy day tomorrow again awesome it's wednesday the 20th of july and i'm not really sure if the packages will come in today as yesterday was a pretty hot day in the netherlands and the postal services suffered from it so yeah it's gonna be wait and see nevertheless we're going to start with parting out four of the fire station sets as that will take some time i still haven't gotten the cups so yeah i'm gonna do it <coughs> without the cups let's open it up and see what's inside it consists of seven bags, two bag fives, so loads of pieces. Some of the pieces are the same as the police set for the helicopter and such. The rope plates went pretty fast last time, so hoping to see good results again, but we'll see. And some booklets with some stickers. Will be a big part out, so have to make several trips to put the pieces away, I guess. So yeah, going to start on the first batch. First batch is done. All big bags are sorted. The small bags are still to do, but yeah, that's how I always do it. Because I have two little cups still. <laughs> um, yeah, I did come up with a solution as I didn't want to do it in two times with the big parts i just wanted to do them in one go so i used those containers that i didn't think of it earlier still baffles me but that's okay 
So for now we can put away all the big parts and go on with the smaller parts. Second badge all done. As with the part out last Sunday, the new color pieces aren't in Bricker yet for some reason. So I'm going to try and add them manually after I put this away and create a new little batch. But we'll see. But first, let's put these away and get some food. The guys of Bricker reached out to me to um, talk about some of the points I had. And one of them was neon yellow was missing at the part out. They added those real quick. It took them like five minutes. So. Really great support from them so far. Uh, one of the other things was... Um, one of the other things was... I didn't know how to do use part out on the couch. <laughs> and that's possible also. From the tools menu you can start a part, uh, a part out also. So they already thought of that, which is really great. The only thing they are going to work on is if I make a mistake, so a typing error or something, I couldn't change it, only after, and they are going to uh, look and see if they can fix something about it. But for now, all of the things I was experiencing was just my knowledge, uh, which I didn't have, and yeah. So far, the software is pretty great. Uh, later, <coughs> I'll be making videos of how it works. But for now, yeah, still got to learn. <laughs> Neon yellow pieces are also done. So, <laughs> whoops, the wall is getting pretty full. So, I really got to think about what to do with the space. I'm gonna work a bit on that this afternoon as we've only got two drawer cabinets left and yeah if I do one more set or two more sets of the size the last city sets were um, this this wall will be full so yeah gonna upload the parts gonna check how much inventory we got after I'll show you guys it's probably the highest I've ever been at, judging from the fullness of the wall. And then on to the next thing. After uploading, we've got 5,100 lots, 5,100 lots, <laughs> and 81,000 parts. So we're getting closer and closer to that 100,000. Yeah, let's see how we can make that fit. Package has arrived, 100 new bubble mailers and 10 of these bigger letterbox packages. Now let's see if my hunch was right and if this will fit. <laughs> it does fit, so that's pretty cool. Then we have a new size for big orders to at least ship them a bit cheaper than with a parcel. Yeah, let me get this packed, ready for shipping, and we gotta get another package. The last package has also arrived. And that's a mount for the iPad. As I really like picking with the iPad, but I needed some mobility. I bought a mount. It's quite stable. It's easy accessible. And yeah should make picking a lot easier you can see is it the right height etc so yeah really happy with it um for now that's it i think today still gotta do some household chores and put away these boxes <laughs> as the kittens will always want to play with it um yeah so guess that's it maybe if there's orders i'll pick some and else i'll be back tomorrow
well, that didn't take long. Um, the customer, which I made a mistake with, had a coupon. And as soon as I uploaded these new pieces, they ordered with use of the coupon. So really great to see. This time I made sure no errors in the order. Everything is counted two times. So I really hope <laughs> that this time the experience is flawless. But we'll see. Um, yeah, thanks for the order. And it's great to see these parts already move as they are just uploaded. So yeah, a good measure to see. And I'm guessing you're building a city. Feel free to hesitate. Uh, don't hesitate to send me some pictures. I would love to share them with the community. Really enjoying the new size uh, letter boxes. And as you can see, oops, they fit perfectly. And usually in order with so many plates and stuff, which didn't fit in the small box, um, does fit now. So yeah, that's really great. It saves me some shipping. So I'm probably going to order more of them. Especially as the focus on sets is getting less and less. So I won't be needing those big boxes as much as you would need a huge order to switch over to a box. And with this size, yeah, it fits a uh, pretty big order. So yeah, just so you know. It's Thursday, the 21st of July. And the last package came in. Four more of the Reiko units. The 44 size, the one I prefer, as you can see. They will be replacing the last of the 60 drawer cabinets I have. And we'll move over the used parts to these cabinets. And then those drawers can go. And it's also in preparation for the new storage I'm working on. So yeah, I'm going to gather these every month a bit instead of one big buy. So I spread the cost a bit and I just store them in this room until I'll do an expansion again. But as I don't know how the prices will be in the future, I figured it's better to spread the cost a bit instead of maybe in three months they are 50 euros, who knows? And now they are 36 euros, so yeah. Just took a chance, maybe they will be 25 euros again soon, I don't know, but yeah. Going to work on that, then we have one order to pick and yeah, we get on. That's done. Looking nice and fresh. One spare. We'll get to that later. These will be gone in the weekend. Now on to picking orders. Eleven thirty-nine. Ah, oh, damn. I need the stairs. <laughs> I'm too small. Next time they will be a bit lower so I can reach it. Two of those. Ouch. Lose 58. The new setting is 58. I believe one of these, yeah, one of those. So, um, and done. Going to pack it, get it ready for shipping. And yeah, then I've got some other stuff to do. Another order, which came in, is going off to the United States. And it's for four or five friends minifigures, so quite unique. Don't sell these often, but always good to see them go. It's Saturday, the 23rd of July. 
and we've gotten some others to pull. This will be the last thing I'll be doing this week as my weekend is pretty packed. So less time for the Lego store sadly, but sometimes that happens. For next week we'll be um, going to focus on working through all the use I have. I want to be done with it. So yeah, all what's in here has to get processed. Will be quite a task, but oh, and all that's here. But it has to be done. Then after I can focus on new fully and yeah get the how do you call it get the high density storage in motion i've been working on that and i think i've came up with a solution which we can implement in the coming few days going to pull the rest of the orders and then get back to you last order all pulled almost exclusively black pieces some red pieces going off to the united states so again something for the baseline and yeah this was this week's vlog um we have had some great sales this week it's mind-boggling so thanks to all the orders and customers it's it's been great and yeah i'll catch you in the next vlog Bye-bye.